putting fuel in the Heston. We're done with corn for a few days, but at least we, so it's ready to go, topped off with fuel. We ain't gonna do it then, we do it now while we're thinking about it. Are you gonna help me get the grain cart out? Yeah? Take me to it, let's go. Uh, hey, grain cart is the other way. Come on, let's go. Come on. Take me a grain cart. Let's go. Come on. Take me to the grain cart, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, I'm coming. Yeah, let's go. Take me to the grain cart. Let's go. Come on. We got stuff to do. We don't get all day to be screwing off. Come on, let's go. Let's go, grain cart. Come on. Come here, kitty. Yeah, come here. You wanna go grain cart? Hmm? You wanna go with grain cart? Yeah. Just a minute, let me get this get this door opened. There you go. Come on. There. You can just sit right there. Ah kitty. Oh, okay, out you go. Or you know what? I'm going to try and make a pet out of you anyways. Ha. Huh. I'm going to try and make a pet out of you anyways. So I had to get turned around right quick. Couldn't make it because we had the grain heading away. And my new little rider seems to be doing okay. Huh. You seem to be doing all right. Not too skittish or nothing for not for never being in a tractor. Now you're gonna stay here while I go fuel up? Huh? Are you gonna stay? Looks like I got a new friend, guys. So either she's mad at me or she won't talk to me. One of the two. But she ain't going nuts or nothing like that i'm impressed combine's ready to go uh got the got the straw chopper back in this thing uh because we're going back to beans uh it should be right up in there somewhere is it? you guys can see it i don't know what you're seeing but put the spinners back on for beans had to, this is the one that got redone. You seen me do, re, redo these, put all new bolts in, uh, put the new uh, new coupler on instead of, cause this is the updated version of, of this guy, which is a pain in the butt because they don't like to slide where all that it is. On this one is just a push button. That makes it really, really nice uh, to take on and off rather than that this is a good idea, but it, over time it gets full of dirt and crap, and it just, it's a real pain in the butt sometimes when it doesn't work correctly. Then what we did to this feeder house was we put uh, this piece of tubing on here. Uh, I don't remember if this bracket was on the feeder house or not. I want to say it was uh cuz when this thing when this thing it pivots for the contour master and you got to be able to tell when level is or back to center that's why this is on here and these bolts are uh welded quick to this thing um so that you can tell what uh what center is this piece here this feeder house does not 
uh, pivot this uh, skid steer style plate does it it's the one that that does all the the pivoting and stuff it don't go forward and back it just goes side to side and that's why the all thread is here so that uh, you can line back up again but other than that uh, if you do your the general maintenance on these things they'll they'll last a long time and uh, that 1440 of ours it lasted a good while it was just time for a bigger machine and to upgrade and stuff which upgrade never hurts I think that, I think upgrading's a good thing as long as you get the money for it. How many of you guys drag a chain behind you? How many of you know what this is for? Let's see who can get the right answer to the question. How many other guys bounce between corn and beans and corn and beans? There was one to, one year I can remember. We bounced back and forth between between corn and beans more times than I had fingers. Yeah. Dry days, beans. Wet days, corn. Days you can't do beans, you done corn. And I think we switched back to beans and corn two times in one day or something like that.